Okay, as explained earlier in the electrical layout video, uh, I have, even though I have water in this tank, there's a, there's a window here that shows water. And there's another way to check if, if I remove one of these probes and I look inside the tank and check with a stick and there's water in there, okay? But let's assume that there's no water, okay? Let's assume that this was winterized and this is a dry tank. So what I want to do is these two, el the element here on the heater, I want to disconnect one of those. So I'm going to just go ahead and disconnect this. And as you notice, this has been kind of jewelry rigged together. I'm going to later replace this with a good wire and then have it, have the lug directly connected to the wire instead of having this wire nut. So this is one of the things I'm going to clean up. Okay. Okay. So now I got the heating element disconnected. I did replace, I found a used valve and uh, I replaced it. So we're going to test this. And like I said, there's no water pressure here. We're just going to plug it in and see if the things click. Okay. Um, we should hear a click for water filling or we should the group when we turn on the group and we press the group uh, dosing we should hear this click too so okay um again there's uh, the water heat is disconnected and we're gonna dry test this okay we're just looking for clicks okay Oops. okay a little short. Okay, so I got it plugged in. Okay, so this is the on off switch. And I turn it on. And you heard that click? Okay, that's the I can hear, I can hear, okay, one way to test, one way to test if a particular switch is working is to use a screwdriver here and check. So if you check the, uh, the top part of the, if you check the top part, the, the screwdriver will stick, okay? So I can just the water fill. I'm touching the top of the water fill, and I can feel the, I can feel the, 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 the screwdriver stick to it. Okay, let's let's do the dose. Okay, the dose is not going to work because the water tank's not full. Okay, uh, so it's not going to dose right because it's expecting. I want to unplug this. In this particular instance, it's expecting this to fill up with water all the way up to a certain level. So um, uh, I can manually do that. I can I can just unplug. I mean, take off the cap and just fill it with water uh, to that level, and then it should dose. Okay. Um, right now, I know the water fill is working. Again, I'm gonna. Plug this in and I'll show you I'll show you how that works. Okay, let me turn this around so you can see. Okay, so the water fill valve is this one right here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so it's sticking. Okay, I can feel it vibrating. You can also hear it too. Uh, this is the click. It, it, watch. Turn on. So, so it's a real loud clip. So that's this, okay? Uh, if you're not sure, you're still not sure, you can remove this, the top nut, and just take off the coil and just leave the coil uh, loose. And, and you can stick a screwdriver inside. And what will happen is when you turn it on, the screwdriver will stick to it, okay? Because uh, it's basically electromagnetic. Anyway, but it's easier just to touch it and then... And then uh, you'll feel the screwdriver gets stuck to the top. Okay, so I know this water fill valve works. Now, whether or not water can come through it, that's another situation. 
But if I was to hook up water uh, to the to the uh, water inlet valve, water should come out of uh, this valve, fill up fill up this tank, fill up this tank, and and once this is filled up, I hit the dose, and this valve will work and turn on. Okay, so. Uh, I'm still not sure if this valve works, but I'm going to go ahead and mount it uh, because I want to put water pressure in and I want to fill this up with water. Okay, so now we're going to, uh, once we do that, we'll test this. This fills up the dose. This should turn on right away and fill this up. Okay, and then uh, there's also the pump which will turn on once we hit the dose. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave the heater off because I don't need steam pressure right now. I just need to know if water comes out of the group head. So that's the next test.